Learn and play online. Today we're going to learn about proper and improper fractions. First, let's quickly recap what we know about fractions. In a fraction, the number at the top is called the numerator. It refers to the number of parts you have out of a whole. The number at the bottom is called the denominator. It refers to the total number of equal parts there are of a whole. The line in between the numerator and the denominator is called a vinculum. This fraction shown here, 3 quarters, is an example of a proper fraction. A proper fraction is when the numerator is less than the denominator. Proper fractions represent a value that is less than 1. What does that mean exactly? Let's use visuals to help us better understand this concept. If you ate 3 quarters of a pizza, that means you ate 3 slices out of 4 in total. And as you can see from the picture, that means you did not eat one whole pizza, which shows that the proper fraction 3 quarters is a value that is less than 1. Let's explore this with one more proper fraction. This fraction, 2 fifths, is a proper fraction because as we know, proper fractions have a numerator that is less than the denominator. If we apply 2 fifths to a real life example, we could say that you ate 2 slices of cake out of a total of 5 slices. This is what it would look like as a visual representation. So you can see with this new example of a different proper fraction, it still shows a value that is less than 1. Now that we understand proper fractions, let's move on to improper fractions. This fraction here, 5 quarters or 5 fourths, is an example of an improper fraction. What do you notice? Improper fractions have a numerator that is either equal to or greater than the denominator. Improper fractions represent a value that is greater than 1. Let's apply this to our pizza scenario so you can visualize it to have a better understanding. Let's break this improper fraction down. The numerator, 5, means that you ate 5 slices of pizza. The denominator, 4, means that the pizzas were cut into quarters. This means that you ate 5 quarters. From this representation, you can clearly see that the improper fraction 5 quarters has a value that is greater than 1 because you ate more than one whole pizza. Let's have a look at another improper fraction. Here is the improper fraction 7 thirds. We are going to use a rectangle to show a visual representation of what 7 thirds looks like. If we break it down, the denominator 3 means that our whole rectangle was divided into thirds, giving us three equal parts. So each of these equal parts represents one third of the rectangle. The numerator 7 tells us that we have seven thirds. Right now in the picture, we only have three thirds. So let's add four more thirds to make seven thirds. Now that we have 7 thirds showing, you can see that this improper fraction has indeed a value that is greater than 1 because we have more than one whole rectangle. We actually have two whole rectangles and an extra third. Let's recap what we learned today. For proper fractions, the numerator is less than the denominator. Proper fractions have a value that is less than 1. In improper fractions, the numerator is larger than the denominator. Improper fractions have a value that is greater than 1. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.